Well, here's some sobering news for you. Technology experts expect a cyber attack of epic proportions over the next 11 years. Never mind identity theft. A new survey says experts feel there could be an attack that leads to significant loss of life and her property. We're joined this morning by Ken Levine. He is the CEO for Digital Guardian. They're based in Waltham. Ken, good to see you uh, this morning. Appreciate nice you coming here. Big question in this survey now, and it was done by Pew Research Center, was that uh, whether or not a major attack could, and I'm quoting here, cause widespread harm to the nation's security and capacity to defend itself. An overwhelming 61% of respondents said yes. Are, are you in agreement with that? Uh, I, I'm actually would would agree if they changed the word would cause harm to could cause harm, because it certainly is possible to happen. But I'm not one that believes that it will or or would. I think there's just too much research, too much awareness uh, on the good guy side uh, for something like so that. So they're suggesting you're something like terrorists uh, hacking and, and getting the, the launch codes or something right, like that. Right, right. Well, there, there's a couple of different ways. Uh, I think the, the the launch code might be a little too sci-fi. I'm a big fan of the of the show 24. And this last ep this last season was they they uh, uh, were able to hack in and control drones. I'm not sure that that's really what they're talking about so much as the critical infrastructure, uh, the, the being able to take down the utility grid or mass transit, uh, the mass transportation system. So, uh, but significant loss of life portion of that would be really a far out sort of scenario, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, m most likely, yeah. most likely. Okay, um, now we're learning, uh, or have we learned, I guess, from, from these hacks we've had with some major retailers, also the iCloud, that type of thing. Have we learned anything from those attacks that will help protect us from the type of attacks that people are fearing here with that, that were mentioned in the survey. We, we have, we have. One of the main things we've learned is what the bad guys are after today, and that's the data. So it's all about uh, d d data theft. It's all about whether it's your, your um, photographs or more importantly, it's, it's the financial information. Right. So I think if we really kind of hunker down and focus on protecting the data, uh, that's something that we can be successful at. Another scenario out there that this could manifest itself through hacking medical devices like pacemakers right. and, and controlling someone's pacemaker. Uh, is that a legitimate concern and a possibility? Uh, well, I, I, again, I think it's, I think it's more in, in the theoretical. And, and one of the reasons is, and, and it, it sounds terrible to say this, but there's not a great return on investment for hackers to go into an individual's pacemaker. Right. Um, they're not, it, it's, it's difficult to do. They're not going to make a not going to make. So a they want a broader impact, and this is something that wouldn't. I, I, I believe that, so, right. yes. Um, would it be wise, though, for us, you know, with all of the talk of this stuff, and these experts, the majority of them say they're worried about this, would it be wise for us maybe to start peeling back our, our how much we're relying on the Internet and technology in general and maybe just kind of slow things down a little right, bit? Right, right. I think that ship has sailed. Yeah. I think we're... we're <laughs> uh, we are, you don't uh, want to hear that, too, right? Can, uh, that's, <laughs> that, yeah, that would be hard for business. Right. But, but uh, yeah, I think, we're, I think we're well on our way. Well, what steps can the, uh, the individual take to protect themselves from this? Again, if we're talking, uh, you know, the government and larger-scale institutions, there's only so much an individual can do as far as that scenario goes. But to protect yourself, what advice would you give? Yeah, I... I, I there's, there's some of it is is technology solutions we can use technology to to help protect us some of it is behavioral and i think that uh, individuals many times are also employees and sometimes the bad guys get in to to the companies through those individuals so i think it's a uh, you know, it, it's it's a lot of awareness. It's a it's a lot of you know, don't open up the suspicious emails. Right. It's it's common it's sense stuff thing. now that everybody it, should. It, know. it really is. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. But I'm I'm glad that there we can take a little bit of a, an easy breath now, knowing that uh, this is a long shot. But the next 11 years, I don't know. Uh, Ken, we appreciate you coming in. Ken Levine. Sure. Thanks nice talking to you this morning. Yeah, take a break. We'll continue.